Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, guess what? I am sitting on the back patio with Brooklyn, and we are about to present the things we like and the things we don't like on our first impression video with the Milwaukee M18 mower. Brooklyn is ready, and I'm ready, so let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off by covering what we don't like. Again, this is our experience using battery mowers. So the first thing we don't like is the price increase. This thing came out at $9.99 when we bought it a few months ago, and it is now 10% higher at $1,099. Don't like that for sure. I mean, prices have gone up, but to have it come out and go up that quick not so cool. Um, the other thing we don't like is the weight on this mower. Now, yeah, listen, you've got a steel deck. People want a steel deck, so, you know, you're going to deal with that weight. There are benefits to that weight, right, where the mower doesn't bounce as much when you're mowing, especially when you have a property that, you know, maybe might not be so straight, right? Um, so we don't like that because it's 85 pounds with the batteries okay now the other thing we don't like is you have to use two batteries to use this mower you can't use one and uh, bad news there these batteries are you know 250 bucks each and uh, yeah I mean these are expensive batteries are expensive look long term you won't have to put gas in it but um, you have to use two and if one goes bad, well, you're going to have to buy another battery. A lot of mowers out there don't need to use two. So that's the reason why we don't like having to use two batteries. Now, the other thing we don't like is the handle, right? So this handle, when you want to put this handle down, first of all, it's easy. You can put it down, right? But when you want to store this, this handle's really long, and that can affect some people, right? When you're putting it in your truck bed or whatever it is. So you actually have to unscrew the handle in order to collapse the handle. Now, I'm not saying close it for storage, right? Because that's not that hard. You just got these two knobs, and, you know, this guy goes down, and that works that way. I'm talking about, you know, making this shorter so that you can actually... You know, maybe put it on your truck bed or something like that, because it is pretty long. It might not work for everyone. All right? So something that we don't like. The last thing that we don't like is the fuel gauge on the batteries didn't work. All right? So for some reason, we just can't seem to get these to work. So, you know... Obviously, spending $1,000 on a mower that's now $1,100, you know, we'd have to send those in and replace them. So that would be the last on what we don't like. Let's talk about what we like. So the first thing that we like, in no specific order, by the way, we're going to pull up a video. We were impressed with how smooth the self-propel was. Um, you know, going from really slow to really fast. This thing goes up to 4 miles an hour. And uh, the self-propel system is uh, real nice. It works well. Uh, as you can see here on the handle, you can adjust the speed here, which is nice. And um, all you do is push this guy down, right, on the left or the right side. Or you can just hold it that way and obviously self-propel. So we did like self-propel. Another thing we really like is look at that fuel gauge. You could see this in the brightest sun, and so we're a big fan of that. We love that while you're mowing up here, you could see that fuel gauge from far away. So great job there with the bright red lights. They work extremely well. Another thing we really liked about this mower is it has power, okay? I haven't seen anything with more power than this has. And this thing, when you first start it up, it starts up at 3,300 RPMs, and it'll drop down, okay? Um, I mean, when you, when you talk about power, this thing can plow through anything. We did a really fun 
high grass video with Greenworks, Ego, and this mower. And this mower didn't choke at all with grass up to 14 inches. I'm going to put an image on the screen there so you can see what that looks like. And I will also put a link in the description so you can check that out, okay? But this thing, if you want it to stay on um, 3,300 RPMs, they have what they call a high lift mode, all right? It, it basically will improve your suction. So if you're bagging, it's going to obviously improve your suction, but it will cut through anything. And here's the high lift mode button, and if you press it, it'll stay on, okay? It will use more battery as well, but if you want that power, there's the high lift mode button, which I kind of call a turbo button, but this is a powerful mower, no doubt. Another thing this guy has is not only do they have fronts in the, uh, lights in the front, but they have lights on the side. So you get to see what's on the side and what's in the front. I'll pull up a small video so you can actually see what it looks like at night. I'm just going to pull up a little bit, okay? But if you want to see more, I did a head-to-head -head video against the Ego. I mean, total detail. This thing was over an hour. And the one thing you'll know about our channel is we show you every nook and cranny that we possibly can all right so now that that video is finished i will put an image up on the comparison from the ego 56 volt select cut and the milwaukee and you can see every little detail there we'll put it in the description as well but i like that it has the lights and i like that it has them on the side which is actually really really nice we're a big fan of the wheels, and they got to be ball-bearing wheels. We weren't able to confirm that, to be honest with you. But these are rubber wheels, and um, they are flexible. They will adjust as you run around your yard. Um, you know, the one thing I also like is we didn't find grass sticking to this for some reason. I don't know how, but grass just wasn't sticking to these wheels, and we like that. So, you know, we like the bigger wheels, but... We also like that they're pretty smooth. They work really well. Another thing we like, we love this fabric that they use. I don't know what it is. Is it leather? I'm not sure. I like the grip. It was comfortable. We used this thing for a little over two months. We had no issues whatsoever with fatigue. We like that the bar recessed right into the handle, which is really nice. So it kind of just disappears in here and it's hard to, to tell you from the camera but when you hold this as you're mowing or you're doing self repel or whatever it is this thing works really really well it's very comfortable and this is quality we didn't find this to be cheap in, in any way we're a big fan of the one hand height adjustment going from one inch to four inch although we found this to be probably more around one and a quarter based off our measurements but this thing will allow you easily to just put this in any setting um, one hand height adjustment love it adjusts all four you don't have to worry about going to each wheel and making adjustments so we love that we do like the warranty on this. It's a three-year warranty, and they give you three years on the battery as well. So they didn't give you different warranties for the battery versus the mower. So that's pretty good. Three years on the batteries and three years on the mower. Another thing we liked, we just felt that the quality of the overall mower was made well. We didn't find anything cheap on here, really. We, we found and we moved this around. It just didn't feel cheap. Um, there was nothing on this mower whatsoever that felt cheap. Now, the only issue we had, obviously, was the batteries. The fuel gauge on the battery didn't work, but we'll exchange those. We'll do a warranty or something. But we really, really like the look, and we like how it feels. For the next one, I'm going to bring up a video on the head-to-head uh, -head that we did. And we like the rear side discharge. You know, we're not a side discharge or a rear side discharge kind of guy. We don't like that. We like mulching and we like bagging. We mostly mulch, but as you can see in this video, the this rear side discharge actually works well. There's no issues. I wish I could say that for the Ego, but the Ego actually ends up clumping grass. Um, I think the design on the Milwaukee worked really, really well. So we like that feature. 
Another feature we like, you know, when you got to throw this in your truck, we like the carry handles. I got to tell you, these guys here, if I could zoom out a little more, these guys are made well. They're very strong, um, you know, and, and, and obviously grabbing these two, throwing it on your truck or wherever you're going to put it works really well. They did a good job with these carry handles. So, yeah, we like those. We also like that they included a dual battery charger. Obviously, it makes sense, right? I mean, if they would have included a single battery charger, that would have been kind of nuts. But they did include a rapid charger um, to charge both your batteries. And they even make a fast charger as well. This is actually pretty decent, but they make a faster one if you want. So, guys, Brooklyn and I agree that the Milwaukee has more likes then it has dislikes. It's made well, it's very expensive. The cut quality is pretty decent. I want you to take a look at the high grass video that we did. Um, also look at the head to head that we did versus the Ego. Look, the Ego has two blades. It definitely did a better job during the mulching. But um, yeah, this is made well. And I hope this video, this short video helped you with what we found over the last two months that we liked and the things that we didn't like. All right. If you liked the video and it helped you, give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. I hope you join our family if you're not a subscriber and share our video. We'd appreciate that. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. Hey, guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.